and welcome back to Moving with Meredith. Today's class is a 20-minute recovery class for anyone experiencing pain or tightness in their piriformis. Piriformis syndrome is very common and is something that I've been dealing with personally for the past five years on and off. Today, I'll be giving you five exercises to strengthen and four exercises to stretch your piriformis. Piriformis muscles connect your upper thigh bones to your lower spine on each side of your pelvis. They sit deep within your booty and help you move your thigh and provide stabilization. They also sit posterior to your sciatic nerve, and this is why you can be experiencing tension. So let's go ahead and begin by laying on the right side of our body. Go ahead and lay down. Make sure that you're supporting your head with your arm, and then you're using the opposite arm to help support you staying up. We're going to bend our lower leg and then straighten the top leg and flex the foot, pointing the toes down. From here, we're going to go ahead and do little pulses. So you're going to inhale and lift the foot up and exhale as you bring it down. Now, it's very important that you don't lift the leg too high. So as you notice, I'm just very slightly lifting the leg up and down. You should be able to feel this in your piriformis, in your butt and make sure that you're not using any other muscles to help support you, just your piriformis. From here, we're gonna do another two sets, 10 each. So here we go. Ready, inhaling up, one, two, nice and slow, three. You should really feel it in that piriformis, four, Five, six, this is definitely one of my favorites, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great, we're going to do it one more time, set of ten, here we go. One, two, breathe, three, four, don't lift the leg too high. Five, six, seven, and eight, nine. Last one, 10. Good. Let's go ahead and transition and switch sides, laying nice and long on the mat and using your hand to help support your head. You can actually lay however you like on your upper body, but make sure that your lower body is correct, bending your lower leg and straining the top leg and pointing the toes down. Lifting up one from the piriformis, two. Inhale, three. Exhale, four. Nice and slow, five. Six. Seven, eight, really targeting the muscle, nine, and ten. Good, take a short break. We're going to do it again for ten more. Here we go. And one, two, three, four. And five. Make sure you're breathing. Six. Take your time. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. We're going to do our last round here. So ten more. Make sure you're breathing and utilizing that muscle. One. Two. Don't lift the leg too high. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Last one here, ten. Well done. Gently transition back to your right side of your body, and from here we're going to do our next strengthening exercise. It's a very common one called clam exercise. From here, we're gonna bend both our knees, use our arms to support our upper body, 
and head and then lift the knee nice and low up and down. So the difference here from other clam exercises that you might have done is that we're not trying to over lift the knee. So we're just really barely lifting the knee up and down here and inhaling and exhaling as we lift up and down. We're just trying to target the muscle here. So we're not trying to get any other muscles involved in the exercise, just the piriformis muscle. Good, we're gonna come into our second set here of 10. So here we go, inhaling one and two, three, four. I'm barely lifting. Five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten. Good, let's go to our last set. Make sure you're not over opening the knee, okay? It's just nice and low. Here we go. One, two. You should start to really feel it in the piriformis muscle right there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, relax. Make our way to the opposite side, left side this time. Supporting our head and then bending both knees and then gradually lifting up and down with our left leg. So here we go. And one, two, three, four. Less is more sometimes. Five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, relax. We'll go to our second set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, whew, six, seven, almost there. Eight, nine, and ten. Good. Let's go to our very last set with the clam exercise. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten relax transition onto your belly we're going to go ahead and go into our third strengthening exercise called back leg raises you're just going to gently relax your forehead onto your arms and then relax your legs nice and long from here we're going to lift and do 20 back leg raises with our right leg here we go one and two Three, nice and gently and slow. Take your time to feel the muscle. Four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, you can point or flex the foot here, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, almost there, 18, 19, and 20. Good, last one. Let's go ahead and relax and then switch sides. So using the left leg this time. Back leg raises and one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, less is more. Seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, five more, sixteen, seventeen, inhale, exhale, eighteen, nineteen, last one, twenty. Good. Next, we're going to rotate all the way to our backs and we're going to move to our fourth strengthening exercise, which is bridge. Make sure that you're keeping your belly button to your spine here and that you're keeping your legs parallel and you're not splaying open with your knees. So take your time. We're going to do nice and gently. Exhale as you lift up. Inhale as you go down. Exhale. Two. Three. And four. We're just nice and gently lifting up and then squeezing at the top. Five. Six. Seven. Really nice and high. Eight. Nine. Inhale. Ten. Exhale. 11, 12, good, 13, take your time, 14, and 15, last one. From here, let's go into one leg bridge. So take your right leg, straighten it nice and long, you can point or flex. Use your hands on the mat to help you push up nice and high. One, two, three. Take your time. Exhale. Inhale as you lift. Four, five, six. Lifting all the way up. Seven, eight. Lengthen from the top of the spine. 9 and 10. Good. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Left leg, here we go. Nice and long. Extend the leg, point the toe, lift up. Here we go. 1 and 2. 3. Rolling up through the spine. 4. 5. Exhale. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Good, relax. Let's go ahead and move on to our four stretches for the piriformis. You can do these stretches at any time or whenever you're feeling tension. This one is called knee to shoulder. So let's go ahead and start by laying your left leg nice and long and then bending the right knee. Grab the knee and pull it towards the center of your body. Make sure you're not twisting too much and that you're pulling gently. You can also take your upper arm and grab the ankle, point or flex the toe here, and then just hold it for about 30 seconds. So inhaling and exhaling as you allow it to stretch and release that tension. Again, let's go ahead and gently relax that leg, drop it down to the mat, and then switch legs here. So taking your left leg, bending it nice and high, grabbing it, and then pulling it towards your shoulder, towards the center of your body. And then you can also grab your ankle here. So holding this stretch for at least 30 seconds, inhaling and exhaling.
Good. Gently come out of the stretch. Take your time and drop the leg down. From here, we're going to go to reclined cow face, our next stretch. So you're going to take your right leg over your left leg, bending both knees, keeping your spine nice and straight, and then lifting both and pulling. So think about really stacking the knees on top of each other, and then you should definitely feel it right there in the piriformis. So it should go all the way down the leg and up towards the spine, and then all the way back down the leg towards the toes. Inhale and exhale as you lengthen within the stretch. Good, let's go ahead and switch sides here. So take your time, switching the left leg on top of the right, bending both knees, and then grabbing from behind the legs. Inhale and exhale with reclining cow face pose. Slowly come out of the stretch and come onto tabletop position. From here, we're going to our third stretch, which is called quadruped position. This is one of my favorites, and it's great to do after running or sitting for long periods of time. So from here, you're going to lift your right leg, bend your knee, and then lengthen the back leg nice and long. Stay up on those hands, and from here, you're going to either stretch nice and tall, or you can even twist your spine towards the opposite hand. So allowing a nice long line, you should really feel it near your piriformis and all the way down your leg. Good. You can even play around by shifting right and left, whatever feels good, but you'll definitely feel it. Good. And then come back to center. Let's go ahead and shift to the opposite side. So taking the left leg this time, bending the knee allowing it to drape over and then extending your back leg nice and long. Inhale and exhale as you twist over to the opposite side. Good, take your time to play here. You can go twist to the right or left, whatever feels good. Inhaling and exhaling. And then we'll go ahead and shift back to center. Our last stretch is Pigeon Pose. So you're gonna bring your right leg forward, allow your left leg to lay nice and long behind you, and then sit up nice and tall. You can flex the front foot, and then if you'd like, you can stay here, or you can drape down all the way down, lying down, inhaling and exhaling, and then just stay here for about 30 seconds. Gently walk the hands back up and then take your time to transition to the opposite leg. So left leg this time, inhaling as you sit up nice and tall, flex the front foot, and then exhale as you drape your body nice and over that leg. You can also just stay up nice and tall if you'd like, and then relax. Gently take your time to walk your hands up and come out of the position. And then when you're ready, come to sit. Thank you so much for taking this class with me today. I hope that this is a great recovery class for you. And if you're struggling with piriformis syndrome like I am, these are great stretches and exercises that actually help with the problem. So thank you so much. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. You can do these exercises at home whenever you'd like. You can do them individually. And then let me know in the comments if this helped you. I look forward to seeing you next time on Moving with Meredith. Have a great day. If you enjoyed this class, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.